Today's adventure begins in Lexington, Virginia. I pull my rental car right here off this road. As the recording of this is Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. And right here, the cusp of the woods, is old Stonewall himself. There was something moving in the woods over there. That's why I was standing still for a moment. Welcome everyone. Adam. The woo here, as you can see, I'm not wearing my hooded sweatshirt. It's warmed up considerably. Drove a lot last night. Made it down south, way more southward than where I was yesterday. In the early afternoon in Sleepy Hollow, New York. Covered some ground, and now I'm in this neck of the woods, Virginia. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? I was gonna go up and get a little closer look and read the placard that's on the bottom of that. Evidently that was created by Mark Klein who built a lot of stuff in this general vicinity, mostly down towards Natural Bridge, Virginia. But something was moving heavily in the woods and it really startled me. So I just, I don't wanna take a chance. Maybe it's a bear or something. Just down the way from where I just was at an antique store. Duke's Antiques. There's a boat out front and a howling wolf. My grandfather used to have a car like that. My grandfather on my mom's side. I'm in Clifton Forge now. I hear a train going by, so I'm gonna walk down and see the train. This is the town hall here. Take a look at the little, little station right here. I always like this area. And meeting up with a friend from here. Hopefully can get some access to a couple buildings. This always gets me the fact that they have next to Chessie 29 over there. The Erie 400, which from Church Street Station in Orlando. There's a little Central Florida relic up here in Virginia. Orlando, Florida says it right there on the side. One day I want to own an old classic Ford truck like this. And this is what it looks like inside the town hall, the city hall. I got the old wooden banisters and creaky floors. Love the tile. All right, ended up getting permission and going to be let inside the old school that has been sitting empty for quite a while. They're going to be turning, it's going to be renovated soon into housing. But right now it's sitting empty, so we're going to get to take a look inside. The library's right over here. I was also just informed my friend Brittany is here as well that this Red Lantern Inn used to be the town funeral home? Yes, that's correct. Long time ago. 
many of the original funeral home in town. Yeah, as far as I know, yep. And now it is a, it's like a little bed and breakfast type place, the Red Lantern Inn, which is right here at the base of the Clifton Forge Town Hall with the clock up top and the mountains behind it, very scenic. Have you been in the school we're going in before? Uh, yes, many times. Not many times. You're gonna give me a little, you're gonna give me a little tour, a little info when we get in there. Yes, of course. I'm excited to go inside and check this out. What is that building right there? Right ahead of us? Yeah, the big building. Is that where the we're church going? Church or, oh no, okay, so with the white columns. The white columns, yes. So that was the Clifton Forge West School. We're going to the East School. The West School straight ahead is still being used. Okay, here's the fire station right here. Clifton Fire, Clifton Forge Fire Department, company number two, engine 24. And a great classic truck here. There's a lot of these old classic trucks around. Now this is a very impressive house here on this corner. It's now a salon according to the sign. Well, maybe not. It does no, say- salon in town, it's advertising. Okay, just advertising it. And where we're going, the school, you can see the corner of it right there. All right, I was just informed there was a Michael Keaton miniseries that was filmed around. So they use this area as like a coal town? Yeah, as the town in the Hulu series, Joke Six. I've heard it was pretty good. I haven't seen it. It was I like, good, I, I liked it. I do like Michael Keaton, so I have to check. It. All right, we're going in. Okay, so evidently, this was the original building, and then they built the newer ones, but I think this is a private residence now. They are doing something up there with the machinery, some road work. You can definitely kind of see that looks like it looked like it was a school. Definitely a classic looking building. I'm assuming this was the flagpole here, still is the flagpole. Very tall, sturdy flagpole there. Yeah, I think it is. There's the base there. So you could have a student go up here or the teacher and they would hoist the flag up right there. Any idea what year this opened for as, as a learning facility? Um, I don't off the top of my head. I can tell you what year it closed. What year did uh, it close? So the middle school part closed in 2001. Definitely built to last, however, made out of the brick. Very sturdy. Well, two parts there. You got the main section over here, and then you got the kind of wing over here, all one big building. Well, one big attachment. Yeah, it's a lot colder in here than it is outside. Is that the gym down there? Yeah, the gym is all the way toward the, it's cool that you can see some of the border and stuff is still here from. The old pin board. 2001. I like the, the old thermostat here. Actually, that, that's an older thermostat, but this is an even older thermostat here. Mr. Earl has the Mickey. Is he a local resident or a local teacher? Mr. Earl? I just I saw Mickey ears and I was like, what, what, who is that? Interesting. Oh, this would like go across to like block the hallway. What would that be used for? Just to keep people down the hall? Oh, I love this. The old gym right here. Look at this. Still got the hoops up in good shape. Probably just needs a little work on the floor, but the whole, the side walls are all still pretty solid. This is so cool. So the enchantment of the sea dance could take place here from Back to the Future. Some kind of a, some sort of like hand crank here. What'd you find? Refreshments. Milk. Oh, it's a milk. It's a milk bottle. You know, this is the second stage like this in an empty building that I've been in in the last week. I'm picking up a theme. 100% no. The cafeteria? Yes. Okay. I think somebody told me it was. So an office desk over in the corner. Now this is dated back to 2008. Make sure the coffee pot is unplugged. That may have been from, I think they did some food pantry stuff here as well, since the school actually closed in 2001, but 
food pantry is next door. So I think they use this area. Got some old floppy disks here. And this is the shower room. These windows are neat too, these block. The glass block ones. You don't see these too often. So that would be something that would have to stay probably because of the National Register. Oh, is this the gym? This is the pool room. The I gymnasium don't know room? Yeah, look at this thing. What the heck? That's like an original treadmill of all existence. Look at this. It's called a fold-away track. I'm not going to risk getting on this thing because I might break an ankle, but yeah. I have never seen one like that. That's got to be from the 70s. Fold-away extra track. And the Air Master. Look at this bike, a folding bike. And you got the Stair Master. Variable resistant stepper. Get a bug in here? <laughs> you got a spider. Apple computer <laughs> I don't know how I missed the spider web and you got it in your, in your face. But there's a spider web all behind it. Now obviously this clock is not working. This could have been possibly where you punch the time cards? I don't know. No, it would be like a I know the floppies. Don't see those often. How about this right now? HBJ spelling. Oh look, a miracle online. Spelling. You got mail. There was a really cool goosebumps folder somewhere in here. I remember when I was looking around. Looking out, looking at spots for the haunted house. Just laying here, but I can see it now. Like some sort of computer equipment over here too. Oh, here's the report card slips. Oh wow. Virginia report cards. And it looks like these say, like, I don't know if they're actually records, but class records. Like, is that all oh, these are? These are great with names. Oh, here's the ghost bumps. There's a goosebump sticker there. The future begins here. There are enough homes for us, spray, spay new year. Pet. You think education is expensive? Try ignorance. This is uh, classroom number five. These must be different books. Maniac McGee. Yeah, so this was the library. Specific subjects. Non-fiction, non-fiction. Yeah, there's the leftover. Congratulations, yes. this year's class. We are the last class promoted from Clifton for elementary school, Clifton Middle School. Here we come, June 6, 2001. The football. That's so random. That, like the stuff is just randomly still here. And that's the boiler room? Yeah, exactly. I guess that's what it's called. Yeah, that's where it's at. Yeah. This is amazing. Star Trek Next Generation here? Look at this thing. I'm pretty sure this is from when we did the reading uh, and gaming literacy convention, Con of the Mountain, a couple years ago. They had We had all these Star Wars and Star Trek and just kind of fun geek things. And yeah. I think they were stored here. That's awesome. It would startle someone that comes in here. Let's see if it was late at night. The ABCs of lice. 
It's always good information to have. Yeah. Look at this. They're saying to vacuum the beds and stuff, but look at this old vacuum. <laughs> I love the, you can happen. Yeah, what was it said in between then? <laughs> you can make it happen. Probably, that would make sense. But I like you can happen. I don't know if this maybe was home ec at some point or something like maybe that. Maybe the nurse's office. Or, oh, I suppose. Yeah, I guess maybe that would make sense with the poster, I don't know. Sure. This just terrified me. Look down here. There's a scarecrow oh, with a dog. Oh, no. yes, yes. Why is that there? I've been startled. Um, I don't know what that is for. Or... It's the Food Wars Virginia Fall Village Festival. So in the fall, the shops and stuff all put up like homemade scarecrows and things. I guess it could have been That's something what that like that. Is. I'm not sure what's just here. This is the freezer. I have no idea what it is, but it always, I always call it that because it looks like. Have you ever been in here? Oh, I've opened the door again when I was here planning for the haunted house that we did not have here. You were gonna have like a. Freezer meat locker. Well, I was probably just gonna have somebody like pull open the door like for a jump scare. I don't know if it was just a closet. Do you have it? See, it looks like one of those freezer doors, but I can't imagine. I think it is a freezer. You can see the cooling mechanism up there. Oh, I yeah. There's like a little. It's like a snowman. Oh wow! Carved into the wall. That's cool. Yeah. I don't know if that says rip. A steel door. Yeah, I love it. It says, it's a, I can't make it, it's upside down, I think. It's actually a lot lighter than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really heavy, but it's real thin. But it's not made out of metal. That was pretty awesome. Can't wait to see what the future of this place holds. Down the road, I have to do an update at some point. This tree has turned into like a some living quarters and a centralized area for events. Special thanks to the town of Clifton Forge for letting me in. And to Brittany for setting it up. It is a really large footprint of land that could be utilized. This house down here on the end. It's like the Myers house. This is around the back here. Got a little basketball court here too. That was just a different hueish color. That would be the Michael Myers residence. Pretty awesome. I'll wave you back. No, nope, it's got a wave. We got a wave. Again, the temperature just dropped by 20 degrees just walking underneath there. This is the stream, the river goes directly underneath Clifton Forge, right underneath the road. Pretty interesting. Smith Creek and it flows under the town. 
Is that the sorting hat? Um. I feel like the sorting hat. I mean, it could be. Do you know what house you are? You're yes, I'm Gryffindor. The Gryffindor. What about you? Ravenclaw. I want to Ravenclaw. Be I wanted Slytherin because Snape is my favorite, but. I mean, yeah. Was, everybody wants to. Everybody wants to be Slytherin. I'm a Ravenclaw. All right, just pretty close to where we just were, about a mile down this road is a is a spring here in the side of the the rock which some say resembles the face of Jesus you know I kind of see it I kind of see it so you got the water dripping out there let me kind of back up I'm gonna zoom in is it like his eyes and nose yep but honestly that could it could be just a it face could be, yeah but I but guess it's... I could kind of see the beard. I can kind of see the eyes. They say the rock fell, landed, looked like Jesus, and then the spring Magically appeared, appeared. And then somebody put the pipe in, I guess. Okay. But people get, like, people get water from here and drink it. It's supposed to be really good. I've never had it. Oh, I kind of want to taste it. Oh, that's... I think it's solid, but it's... Careful there. I mean, I can, oh, well, it's kind of like... I see the beard. The nose. Yeah. Huh. Thing is, I don't know if anyone really knows what Jesus looked like. That's the There's thing. no photos There's, of it. It's not man. like they were pictures. But everyone has their interpretation. Like, no one really knows precisely, but... I love how the ivy grows up, though. I think it's really pretty. I'm just I'm going to taste it. Not bad. I mean, it just it tastes like water. Yeah. Kind of like, yeah, cold. It's a nice source of free water, though. Yeah. So that's good. Surprise! It's not coming out wine. <gasps> Turn the water into wine. <laughs> that was good. I would prefer water, but I would too. I'm not a wine drinker. But I could definitely see. Where the face is in there. I've been to a place, Salt Lake City, where in the side of a tree a lady saw the face of Jesus and then it's been vandalized, doesn't look like it anymore, but this still is still resembles it. It's a good spot. Right here in Clifton Forge. Hey, you gotta be right up on it to see it. The car's speeding off. See it from that angle? I was looking, there's an old sign, but it's completely rough and you can't read it. I think it's an old sign. But yeah, you also can see it from that angle. Also. You can. So this almost looks more like, it. actually you can tell it's like his like hair coming down. It's almost down. like the Shroud of Turin image, Turin, the, you know, that the thing, the image on that? No. Google it. <laughs> this says, watch for falling rocks. I was just thinking, if they put a sign there and let the town folk know that there's free water, they could promote it as beating the hell out of hydration. <laughs> Classic truck going by. There's a little bit of an overlook here, a little pull-off down by the railroad tracks, which is kind of interesting. The city of Clifton Forge, one mile west, arrived its names from the Iron Forge called Clifton, after the home of one of the owners in operation in 1822. This is also part of the Clifton Furnace, a registered national landmark. So are we on the furnace now, or is that just the yeah, it's area? Like if you look down here. Okay. All right. I didn't realize this is an actual furnace. Holy cow, that's a deep well. I didn't realize. I thought it was just like an overlook, but it's actually a national landmark, a furnace. Good thing I've got that, got that grate over it. Well, I don't know if you can climb down because you have to like... You climb down there. Oh, down there. I mean, I'll... I had no idea. I thought these were just like an overlook to look at the side of this cliff here. Definitely a very impressive piece of rock formation here. Oh my... Yeah, I know. I, I made the same mistake. I thought that was the ground and my feet went in like two feet. This is kind of awesome though. I'm 
lot of leaves. Now walking down this old dirt path to a bridge, an old metal bridge down here. Looks like it's all grown over at the end of this road. It runs parallel to the new road where the new bridge is. Of these old kind of bridges. Reminds me of the Lost Boys Bridge. I wouldn't recommend doing it. A little too heavy for that. The, well, the water's not super deep, especially now because it's been dry. There's the new bridge right there. These are intense. Okay, when I was here last time, this building was completely closed up and now it's like wide open. that we did on the steps there. This is awesome. Holy cow. Yeah, whenever the last time I was here, this was, I could only see it from the outside, couldn't get in. There was like boards all over the windows, boards all over those windows. This was all boarded up as well. You come in that way. You come in the back way and shimmy across the wall. Many, many times have I come in that way. This is a great spot though. Mm -hmm. So you've just taken lots of photos in here. Yeah, this is like air. We've commandeered this house. We love it. But it's, it's getting to the point where it's pretty soon it's going to be, it's probably just going to collapse. And this hole right here didn't used to be there. It formed when I fell through it. So you can I'm not gonna use your that. judgment. No, I'm good. That's going to cave in on me. Yeah, it, it hurt very much. There's a photo of it. Took right up on the staircase there. Bloody gorgeous. G O R E. All capitals, yeah. right? G O R E. G O R E. G E O U S. Support women in horror. Yeah, I don't know if I want to walk up here. That might yeah. just be. You could, well, there, there's a lot of glass up here. I mean, I think here would be okay, yeah. but I don't know if I want to go any farther up. Just I'm just going to peek. Wow, this was the this was the second floor balcony. Holy cow! Yeah, you used to be able to walk out on there. This is okay, but I'm not gonna take a chance yeah. to walk out. This old wallpaper, I love it. It's a shame because this was a really nice house. Back in the you definitely see how the sun is about to go over the back of the mountain over there. It's going to be setting soon. Not quite yet, but pulled over here on the side of the road to the Island Ford Cave. There's another rock that has... Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of Griffith Park, the Bat Cave, the Batman Cave. Which last time I went there, they had it blocked off. You couldn't get it in. The only difference is this one cannot go out the other side, or if you can, it goes through a narrow passageway where it's not as not open ended on both sides. A little dark back in here.
Yeah, very, very uneven floor. This is the Oakland Presbyterian Church. There's a little photo there. What it used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. Right here along the railroad tracks, you see a train over there. Alleged ghost stories taking place out here. A little girl laughs out here at night? Uh, allegedly, that's what I've heard. I haven't experienced it. I've been out here at night. It's creepy, but I didn't hear it. You've done some experience. explorations out here in the evening just to see if you hear the laughs? Yep. And then the eyes of this supposedly will follow you around the, the, uh, the gravestones. That's, that's oh my that's gosh, look at the eyes on this thing. That's I'm saying, right? Let me zoom in on this. Yeah. You following me? Can't tell. Organized back in 1834, has continued as a place of worship for a period between 1861 and 1865. Oh, except, so all that time up until 1861 and 65 when he uses a hospital. For the contingent of Stonewall Jackson's troops. Look at this. A monument in a churchyard marks those who passed away in this very building. I'm gonna find that. I honestly think that this is the sculpture here with the names of those who passed on in that very hospital. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on this side. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's the only one I see that could could possibly be what they were describing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.